wondering how to learn Italian faster? Speak Italian like you've always dreamed of with these 11 effective hacks that will help you learn Italian faster. Italy holds a very special place in my heart. It's my heritage and I'm named after my nonno, that's grandfather in Italian. In fact, he's the reason why I decided to learn Italian as an adult. In this video, I'll share with you simple but clever language learning hacks that you can implement in your daily life that will help you learn Italian more effectively and efficiently. Before we start, I want you to know that it's okay to make mistakes when speaking Italian. This is often the best way we learn. With that said, cominciamo, let's get started. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm the Intrepid Guide, your guide to language learning for travel using my 80-20 method. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you get an alert when I post more videos like this one. The first way to learn Italian quicker is read Italian food labels. Italian food products can easily be found in most supermarkets around the world. The next time you go shopping and need to purchase something like spaghetti or olive oil, choose one where the original label is written in Italian. Read the ingredients and cooking instructions. Make sure you jot down any new words. Every time you go to use that item, take a moment to reread the label and see how much you can remember. Number two, listen to Italian music. A great way to improve your pronunciation and pick up new words is by listening to Italian music and of course singing along to your favourite canzoni songs. I used to listen to Pavarotti, Tiziano Ferro and Giovanotti all the time when I started learning Italian. And yes, I would sing at the top of my lungs whenever I was driving. Accessing Italian music online has never been easier, especially with platforms like Spotify and YouTube. Create a playlist of your favourite songs and Google the lyrics. Print them out or copy and paste them into a Google Doc and translate each phrase. Alternatively, you can search for the song on YouTube and add contesto or with lyrics and sing along with the music video. 3. Read Italian newspapers and magazines. Reading a newspaper in a foreign language can be very challenging. Experts agree that journalistic language is some of the hardest to understand. Stick to reading sections that are less serious, such as culture, gossip, or local events, cinema, and music. You can also read Italian newspapers online, which Italians call Il Giornale. More and more, these newspapers also offer video clips which bring these stories to life, such as La Repubblica, Corriere della Sera, and Il Sole 24 Ore. Number 4. Read short stories in Italian. One of the challenges of language learners is finding reading material that is often interesting but not so complex that you need to constantly check a dictionary. There's nothing worse than purchasing a book you're excited about only to never finish reading it because it's too hard. The solution is short stories in Italian for beginners and intermediate learners. Now, I love this series and I'm not the only one. The past two years that I spoke at the language show in London, these books were flying off the shelves. The short story series by Ollie Richards is targeted to high beginner and lower intermediate level learners. Each book includes eight stories covering a variety of topics from science fiction and crime to history and thriller, which means you're exposed to a wide range of new vocabulary. What I love about the short story series is that you feel a real sense of achievement. Chapters are kept short and sentences are simple and not too wordy. New words are highlighted in bold and included in a short glossary at the end of the chapter so you don't need to rely on a dictionary. There is even a fun comprehension quiz after each chapter to see how well you've understood the text. It's also important to note that the stories are mapped to the A2B1 Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, which means it's the perfect study companion alongside your other language learning resources. For more details, I've linked to the short story series below this video. Number five, order your meal in Italian. Dining at an Italian restaurant or pizzeria? Don't be shy, now is your chance to practice your pronunciation as you order your favorite Italian dishes. So many non-Italian speakers pronounce words like bruschetta incorrectly, but you can educate your friends at the table when you correctly slip in that K sound. Is the staff Italian? Try placing your order in Italian. The server would definitely appreciate the effort. Not sure how to order? Watch my video on how to order food and drink in Italian, which I've linked below this video. Number six, 
tune into Italian radio, TV programs, series and podcasts. Many countries have their own radio programs and news broadcasts in Italian for their local Italian communities. Well, consider yourself part of the community. Search which Italian programs are available in your country and tune in as often as you can. Listen while you commute or do the housework or run errands. You don't have to understand everything, but you'll get the gist of it. Over time, you'll notice the same words being used over and over. These are the ones to pay attention to and look up in a dictionary if you're unable to guess the meaning. Program presenters generally articulate and enunciate very well too, so you can hear each letter clearly. You can even listen to programs directly from Italy. Here are two sites to get you started. Number seven, watch Italian movies. Love watching movies? Watching a movie in the original language is a great way to pick up new words and expressions and even learn something about the country where the movie takes place. There are loads of Italian movies available on Amazon Prime, Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, and you can get my full list of Italian movies on Disney Plus that I've linked to in the description below. When you watch these movies, keep a notepad handy and write down any new words you hear or see and look these up later. For 22 genius tips on how to use Netflix for language learning, check out my video which I've linked to in the description below. Number 8. Listen to Italian courses. You can listen to Italian language courses like Michelle Thomas's excellent Italian courses or the conversation based courses from Coffee Break Languages almost any time. When you go for a run or commute to work, clean your apartment or house, when you're cooking, whenever you like. Don't forget to repeat out loud what you hear. This helps your brain remember and internalize what you've learned. I've linked to both of these resources in the description below. Number nine, share your passion with others. Learning a language with other people is much more exciting and easier than doing it by yourself. Having company while you broaden your knowledge of Italian is helpful not only because language is primarily the means of communicating with others, but also because enjoying the process is a vital element in succeeding. Ask a friend, partner or family member if they want to learn Italian with you. Look for local language meetups in your area or sign up for group lesson courses and make friends that way. You never know what doors this will open for you. Number 10. Read up on your favorite Italian landmarks and cities. With Google at your fingertips, you can read all about your favorite Italian regions, cities, monuments, artists, and more the fashion. Jump on google.it, which is Google Italy, and practice using the correct Italian spelling for things like Roma, Rome, or the name of a famous city or monument in Italian, such as Firenze for Florence or Il Colosseo for the Colosseum. Visit Italian Wikipedia, which is it.wikipedia.org, or local tourism board websites to find out more about your favorite regions in Italy. Number 11, make Italian recipes. Do as the Italians do best and cook. Jump on YouTube and type in recetta, which is recipe, and choose something you'd like to make. Watch the video again and again as you cook alongside the chef. After a while, you'll be confident enough to turn off the closed captions. If you're like me and prefer to have a physical cookbook, then why not buy one? You can search on Book Depository or Amazon. The added benefit of this is you can write down any translations directly into the book. Bonus tip, learn Italian with me, the Intrepid Guide. Have you got a trip coming up or want to communicate with your Italian relatives? Now you can learn Italian with my 80-20 method. Just click on the link in the description below to check out my online video language courses that will help you become conversational in Italian. So there we have it, 11 effective hacks that will help you learn Italian so much faster. What was your favorite tip in this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're serious about improving your Italian, download my free guide, Nine Reasons You're Not Fluent Yet and How to Fix It. Just click on the link in the description below and I'll send you your free guide. In the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications to get an alert when I post more videos like this one. Until next time, happy language learning and I'll see you soon. Ciao!